For much of recorded history, mankind has been subject to the whims of nature. Wind, in particular, has often been an unquantifiable force, a force which we could only react to, not anticipate. This unknown impacts our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. In response, the engineers at Sandia National Laboratories developed the Precision Optical Wind System. The Precision Optical Wind System program was started when elements of the Department of Defense approached Sandia about developing a remote sensing device, laser-based, that would allow a user to measure crosswinds out to a mile. We are looking to bring this new capability to soldiers, which they don't have particularly at night. Since we've started firing projectiles, we've always had to know the range and the wind. And up till now, there's been no way to determine the wind where it's most needed. The one reason that we're missing targets at this point is because of the wind. And obviously the over range, the wind has a, a more of an effect. It's guesswork, you're estimating. What's unique about our system is that it's a very small handheld device that allows you to set it up, point at a target, and immediately start measuring the crosswind. The precision optical wind system relies on turbulence in the atmosphere to measure the wind. We shine a laser to the target, light is reflected off the target, and variations in the index of refraction of the atmosphere perturb the return light and generate a time varying signal. We can measure the time lag left to right or right to left and for a true crosswind value. Our return signal coming back at us is on the order of picowatts. We have to bring that out of the noise. Uh, it is a very large challenge. Uh, we've overcame it, uh, really stepped up our game. Having the ability to know winds at night has given us both greater range and standoff and a much higher hit potential, similar to during the day. At night time, it, it, it's, it's another world. So, you know, it, it, it takes away a lot of that capability that we had during the day and so it's it's nearly like you're taking away uh, nine tenths of the of the solve and you're, you're really just shooting wind at your position at night it really does up the playing field uh, substantially and that's where I think the wind sense is really going to knock it out of the park. Commercial applications uh, I think about aviation I think about crosswind shear on runways right now they can either use a radar to profile the, uh, the wind shear across the runway or they can use a scintillometer. These systems are very large, very expensive, and they're also, they are not co-located. You have a transmitter, you have a receiver. Construction, particularly high rise and bridge construction where wind loading is important. Alternative energy applications, i.e. wind farms, where the direction of the turbine and blade pitch can be optimized given foreknowledge of the wind. Could be integrated into spotting scopes uh, for hunting guides, could be for uh, long range hunters, the western hunter, could be your um, target shooters. We have a lot of long range target competitions and things like that. Guys shooting well over a mile now accurately. Um, the wind is the, the piece that they're still missing. The actual windage call it's still it's still almost a bit of a, a black magic. It has to be exercised and practiced, and it's plagued everyone from the novice to the experienced shooter. The ability to have a, a range-finding device that could measure the wind and also give an accurate wind call over the bullet's entire flight path to the shooter, we're ecstatic. If we had a button that we could push and give us a good wind call, uh, it would be astronomical. This is game changing, it's revolutionary. It's gonna change the hunting and shooting industry. And I can have the same hit potentials at night as I do during the day. That's never been, that's a paradigm shift. If we were able to harness a technology like this and bring it into the marketplace, it could revolutionize the long range community. Looking forward to working with an industry partner and getting this in mass production.